I did the tray to throw me there was. Um, I got six. Take some type tool holders and this colour chuck. Quick change colour chuck. I don't know whether I keep this or sell it or swap it. I won't actually use it. It's more for production work and the sort of work I do. Obviously, you can put a collar in there, and there's a little link goes onto there. And that, that when the lathe's running, you can open and close the collar very quickly. I've also got a set of tools that's coming from Banggood uh, in a Laura type wedge tool post, the same as I have on the Harrison lathe, a holder or a tool post, some holders and some 12 mil tooling just to give that a try on the lathe, which it should be alright, it's the same as the stuff I've got on the Harrison lathe. Probably going to do some video on that later on. I was moving some stuff in the car last week and I found that line in the back of the car. I didn't realise it would snap it off the hand wheel. Quite annoying. So I'm going to take the hand wheel off and see if I can get the broken piece out and I'll either... I'll probably just make a new, a new little handle for it. So let's see if we can take this off. Pin through there, make sure I don't lost that. I'll take it out so I can't. A nice heavy pulley that. None of your aluminium imported crap here. I'm just going to sit that onto a, onto a parallel. You can mount it with a tape hole through the central hole, but this will be perfectly adequate for what I've got to do to it. I'm going to put a milling cutter in first just to make the end flat and then try a left hand drilling and hopefully it'll come straight out. I've had a little exploratory poke with it with a, a scraper and it is quite tight. It's not it's not free, it's possibly been locked tight in, I don't know. Now if you have the miller cut out just to put a flat, a flat face on it so the drill doesn't wander. You could just send it a pop and drill it by hand, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to lock off the spindle on the mill. Just to gently Put a flat on like that, right in the middle of it. I've got a left hand drill here. The idea is you run the lead backwards. That hopefully bites into the stud and screws it out. You've got to be careful when you're doing this, when it starts to move, you've got to get the quill up out the road very quickly. It doesn't always work, but it's nice when it does. So I'm running backwards, slow things down a little bit. And with a little bit of luck, it should. It did move it. But what happened was, the wheel or the hand wheel actually came loose in the vise, which is not ideal. Let's start again. Pretend we didn't do with that. Right, so that's a much better method of supporting that. And still pick up. Tighten the base back up. Properly, you know the part is supported on those two parallels. 
there you go that's the way it's supposed to work it doesn't always work like that but when it does it's really pleasant don't know what thread that is you will have possibly do not think it's metric Right, so it is quarter, quarter A on F. So I've got a quarter A on F die so I can make a nice little, nice little handle for it. I've got a piece of stainless here. The first thing I'm going to do is put the threads on. Now I can quickly buy the threads and machine the handle part. Put more velocity than that. More than that. Better. So first before trying to machine it is we'll tighten the chuck up you can get a much better result if the chuck's tight like that Put more thread on than I need. I'm not going to shorten it. Very decent port I will have top in there. That's a port I will have die in it. Not a port I will have top. Stop it just what snaps the end of it off.
bastard thing. Corners off a tip. See what it straight away just stops cutting. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, it does make a big difference. The numbers are slowly going up. Uh, it's up to like 70,000 now, but it would be nice to see 100,000. Anyway, thanks for watching.